my name is Melanie Newman and welcome to our grooming channel. Our special little guest today is baby Arby. He is a three and a half month old Bichon Frise. And in today's grooming session, I'm going to teach you how to bath and dry a puppy. So stay tuned. It's important before we begin bathing our puppy that we have all the equipment ready so we're not running back and forth and he feels super comfortable while we're bathing him. So I have popped a non-slip mat in the bottom of the bath so this will help him feel really secure and he's not going to slide around while the shampoo and the conditioner is on. I'm going to be using the Melanie Newman puppy collection on him today. So I have the shampoo and conditioner ready. I also have a little sponge. So this will help in areas such as his face if he's a little bit frightened of the water. I have two towels ready for when he comes out the bath as well. Before we begin bathing our puppy, it's important to brush all the knots and tangles out first. If we don't brush out those knots and tangles, the shampoo may compact the knots and tangles and it might actually make them worse and it will make it really hard to brush out after the bath. If you would like to learn how to brush your puppy, switch over to our how to brush a puppy video and then come back to the bathing video. If you're not feeling 100% confident in bathing your puppy on your own and your puppy is a little bit wiggly, so not like baby Arby here, you may want to ask somebody to help you secure your dog in the bath while you're bathing them. Place your puppy in the bath and give him a minute or so to familiarize himself with his surroundings because he might want to have a sniff and a bit of a look around but just keep one hand on him at all times and make sure his surroundings are nice and calm and maybe put on some nice gentle music for him to help soothe his little nerves if you are using a grooming loop, this is a perfect time to place it over your little puppy's head. I recommend the water temperature to be between 34 and 36 degrees. I'm going to begin by gently letting the water just gently flow over his back first and then the water will gently go down his legs and taking it very, very slow with him. And as I'm rinsing his head, I'm just gently starting with the back of his skull first and letting the water drizzle over his ears. If you find your dog is a little bit nervous with the water, you can always use a little face washer and then just let the water just drizzle over his head. And just using the little face washer around his little nuzzle so he feels nice and safe and secure. Good boy, baby Arby. Good boy. Once our puppy is feeling comfortable, we are then going to apply our first shampoo. And then gently massaging the shampoo through the back of our little puppy and then working down their little legs. and gently working down our puppy's little paws. It 
it's important when we bath our puppy that we do slow movements to begin with so our puppy feels nice and safe and secure. And once we've shampooed our little puppy's body, we're then going to gently massage the shampoo into his little head. It's important when we rinse our puppy that we're rinsing our puppy's face first. So this will ensure that we're getting no shampoo into our puppy's eyes. It's important to shampoo our dogs twice. Shampooing our dogs will remove dead skin cells which will promote new healthy skin and coat. And gently applying the shampoo to our little puppy's head. And massaging the shampoo through their little muzzle. Beginning to rinse our puppy's little face first and working around towards his muzzle and just rinsing off any little bits of suds and shampoo and working down his body and down his legs and ensuring that we've removed all the shampoo from his coat including his little paws. It's important that we remove all the residue and all the shampoo from our little puppy's coat. We have rinsed off all the shampoo and now we are going to begin to condition our little puppy. Conditioning our dog's skin and coat provides optimum hydration and strengthens our puppy's coat while it's transitioning into their adult coat. Keeping our little puppy's coat nice and shiny and making it easier to brush out any knots and tangles. It's a nice idea to give our puppy a nice little gentle massage while the conditioner's on. This will help create a positive experience for our puppy. I have completed the conditioning process on baby Arby, so I'm going to begin rinsing him. And again, starting with his head first and then working down his body. Rinsing for a good three to five minutes, ensuring that we've removed all the conditioner. and making sure we've removed all the conditioner from his little paws. It's important when we're bathing our puppy that we're communicating with our puppy all the time and telling him he's a good boy and making him feel really safe and secure and providing a positive experience for him. I have rinsed all the product out of baby Arby, so I'm ready to dry him. So I'm just going to squeeze the excess water out of his little legs and doing this ever so gently. And then grabbing our towel, ready to dry him. I have got baby Arby out of the bath. I've popped a non-slip mat 
on the bench and then I've popped a towel on top of the non-slip mat. So what this will do is when I'm drying him, the water that is going onto the bench or onto the non-slip mat, it's going to go on the towel instead and not back on him. So it's actually going to speed up the drying time. I am going to pop a happy hoodie on baby Arby. So this will help block out the noise of the dryer. So if you've got a puppy that's a little bit insecure about noises, a happy hoodie is absolutely perfect. I'm going to remove the end of the dryer. So this will give a nice, gentle, warm air coming out and it won't be fast and it won't frighten him. Before I begin, I'm going to gently spritz baby Arby's coat with the puppy coat conditioning spray. This will actually help hydrate his coat and it will help remove any knots and tangles that have occurred in the bath. I'm going to turn the dryer on low and making sure I've got a hold of baby Arby at the same time. As the warm air is coming out onto baby Arby, I'm going to be using a little puppy slicker to brush baby Arby at the same time. So what this actually does is it speeds up our drying time and it brushes our dog out at the same time because it's separating the coat as we're drying. Once baby Arby's body is completely dry, I'm going to take off his happy hoodie and then using our slicker, I'm gently going to brush out his little face and separate all the hair on his face and this will help speed up that drying time. His face is completely brushed out, so I'm going to turn on the dryer and again, one hand is always on baby Arby. And from behind, just drying his little head. If you feel like the coat's not separating enough, we can turn the dryer off and then gently go back through with our slicker and repeat that process. And turn on our dryer. I have removed the wet towels from underneath baby Arby, so when I'm giving him his final brush through, he's not going to get wet again from those damp towels. Baby Arby is completely dry, 
So I'm just going to go through his coat quickly with his little baby slicker. And once I've gone through his coat with his slicker, I'm then going to just cross check it with our metal comb. Good boy. And he is looking pretty clean. I'm going to finish baby Arby off with the puppy cologne. This will keep his coat nice and fresh and smelling extra delicious. And of course, rewarding baby Arby because he has been the most well behaved little puppy I have groomed in a very long time. I hope you guys have enjoyed our grooming session on how to bath and dry a puppy. If you guys have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and baby Arby and I will get back to you. And I better give Dash a treat before he starts getting angry at me. And until next time, happy grooming.